Hey y'all, this is David Fine from Keys Mods. Our channel is focused on educating everybody on the incredible diversity of moth fauna and butterfly fauna of South Florida and the Florida Keys. Guys, we've got 600 species of moths just in the Florida Keys. And if you check out our videos, we'll show them all to you. But today we're gonna focus on one of our big gray sphinx moths. This is a moth that if you've ever grown tomatoes or peppers in your yard or potatoes, you get these big green worms that show up out of nowhere and destroy your crop and you get really, really upset. Well, it's the, this is Menduca sexta. This is the tobacco hornworm and their caterpillars are one of the worst pests known to man in the United States. So guys, we're gonna tell you a little bit about our experience with this species in South Florida and the Florida Keys. Check it out. All right, guys, one of the most common large sphinx moths in the Florida Keys is without doubt, Manduca sexta, the tobacco hornworm. Uh, and they don't just eat tobacco. They eat pretty much anything in the Solanaceae family tomatoes, peppers, potatoes, anything like that. And if you farm any of those vegetables, you're probably gonna have gotten really upset when these guys show up and lay a bunch of eggs and destroy the plants. They are very difficult to tell apart in the wild from some of their counterparts. In fact, this is the tomato hornworm. This is Manduca quinquamaculata and one, this is the five spot hawk moth. This is the six spot hawk moth. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's six down at the end there. And then five spot hawk moth, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's the that's one of the big differences, but they have a different hind wing. Uh, th this guy's got some of these little streaky things going on here, but uh, when they're out in the wild and they cover their spots with their four wing, it's really tough to tell. And in fact, Probably the more difficult one to tell them apart with in the Florida Keys is the pink spotted hawk moth because even though this one's got these beautiful pink spots, like I said, when they are in at rest, when they like, let's say they fly to your light sheet and they land, they, they cover their hind wings and their abdomens with all these spots. They cover that with their forewings. So all you see is this gray forewing. And if you look at the forewing of the pink spot hawk moth, and then you jump over and look at the forewing of the tobacco hornworm, they are very, very similar. Good luck telling them apart. Uh, you might have to poke and prod to get them to reveal their, their hind wing and, and abdominal spots. So that's the tough thing to tell them apart. Guys, we've seen them uh, very, very commonly on many, many different uh, locations and times of the year in the Florida Keys, they must feed on a, a number of the native plants in the nightshade family, and uh, obviously on people's gardening, uh, garden tomatoes. They come readily to mercury vapor lights, uh, black lights, we find them in our black light bucket traps. Um, mercury vapor is probably the best way to find them, and they do come to flowers. So if you have uh, flowers with like some deep-throated flowers like honeysuckle and things like that, uh, angel's trumpet, hibiscus, they will come in nectar on those flowers. Pentas, I've seen them on pentas down here in South Florida. Firebush, uh, good plants to have if you want to garden for some of these nocturnal uh, nectaring moths. All right, but let's, let's go over to the website and give you some specifics on when and where we have found the Carolina Sphinx, the tobacco hornworm, whichever one you want to call it. All right, so again, it's a cool moth. You know, when they're fresh, they are actually quite pretty. Uh, we found them on Key Largo, Bahia Honda, Big Pine Key, No Name Key, throughout most of the year. Probably the most common in May and June is probably the most abundant that we've seen them. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's just a common moth. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, time talking about this species. Uh, again, we, we hope that um, instead of when you, if you're a farmer and you have them growing in your in your yard, actually I don't have caterpillars listed. That's kind of lame. I got to put some caterpillars on the website. Uh, but 
If you find the caterpillars, don't destroy them. <laughs> Give me a holler. Maybe I'll come and take them from you. Anyway, uh, actually, just kidding. I, I've got these plenty of these guys, and um, well, yeah, do it. Do with them what you will. Really, the range of this species—they live throughout almost all of the United States, and also down in Central and South America. So they have a like literally from Canada all the way down to South America. They've got a very extensive range, and you know it, it's it's a it's just a common and widespread moth. But I sure like seeing them anyway. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I I know they may be a pest to your gardens, but I have an affinity to moths, and I I, I love seeing them. So don't kill your tomato hornworms, your tobacco hornworms. They deserve to live too, <laughs> guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up on the video. Uh, I'm half kidding. Like if you're growing tomatoes, and I, I get it, you get upset when a green worm eats your tomatoes, but they grow back. I promise. Uh, but thumbs up on the video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, we're going to go over all 600 species of moths in the Florida Keys, and they are photographically documented and shown to you on our website, keysmoths.com. Check out the website, and you can browse through and check out all the incredible moths and butterflies of the Florida Keys that we found. Now I wanna give a shout out to the Southern Lepidoptera Society, which is a group of guys and gals that I truly admire who have dedicated their lives to studying the butterflies and moths of the Southern United States. So if you wanna join a really cool group of butterfly moth enthusiasts, it's about $35 for an annual uh, membership and you get some newsletters, every, uh, quarterly newsletters and invites to some some uh, annual meetings and field trips and stuff where we go out looking for bugs. But the uh, link to that website, Southern Lepidoptera Society website is in the description of this video. Go ahead and check that out. Click on that link, sign up to become a member, join our club. It's a really, really cool group of people that you can glean from and learn so much endless amounts of knowledge about the butterflies and moths of South Florida. So guys, take care. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and find us some big grain moths. Great. Some big gray moths that eat your tomatoes. Take care.